Are you a movie buff? Do you love watching movies? And have you heard some of these phrases and wondered, what do they really mean? Let's start with the most famous, the most iconic movie quote of all time. Houston, we have a problem. What does it mean? This phrase has become an idiom for calmly announcing a serious issue or setback. Houston, we have a problem. Our sales figures have dropped drastically this quarter. Houston, we have a problem. I burnt dinner. May the force be with you from Star Wars 1977, way back in the day. And this idiom is often used to wish someone luck or success. May the force be with you on your big presentation today. Hey, you have a job interview coming up. May the force be with you. I'll be back from the Terminator Iconic. And this phrase is used to indicate that someone will return soon. I'm just grabbing a coffee. I'll be back. I often use this when I'm leaving South Africa. I say to my friends and family, I'll be back. You can't handle the truth. And this movie line suggests that someone is not able to accept the reality of a situation. I told him about the budget cuts, but he just can't handle the truth. Oh, here's one of my favorite movie quotes. Here's looking at you, kid, from Casablanca, 1942. And this, this phrase is used to toast someone showing admiration or effective cheers to you on your graduation. Here's looking at you, kid. Next up. Life is like a box of chocolates from Forrest Gump, and this suggests that life is full of surprises and uncertainties. Do you remember this one from Titanic? I'm the king of the world, and this idiom expresses a feeling of ultimate success and power. I've arrived. I'm the king of the world. After winning the tournament, he felt like he was the king of the world. This one's kind of sexy and romantic. You had me at hello. And this idiom means that someone won you over from the very beginning. You had me at hello. Now let's dive into the Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. And this phrase emphasizes the comfort and safety of home. So after traveling for months, I realized there's no place like home. And when I touch down in South Africa, I'm probably going to say, there's no place like home. And when I leave, like I said, I'll be saying, I'll be back. Are you a Batman fan? Well, why so serious? You know this phrase. And what does it mean? It questions why someone is being overly serious or worried. We're just playing a game. It's just Monopoly. Why so serious? This list would be incomplete without Toy Story. To infinity and beyond. I love this one. It's so aspirational. It suggests going beyond any limits. Let's aim high for our project goals. To infinity and beyond. Hey, with this channel, to infinity and beyond. Are you on board? Like and subscribe. Now, who doesn't love the Godfather? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Now, this idiom means presenting someone with a proposal they can't reject and it has an element of coercion. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to offer a deal so good he can't refuse. But there is an element of coercion. I mean, it is the godfather after all. What's not to love about the next one, Tom Cruise? Top Gun. I feel the need. The need for speed. And this phrase expresses a desire for excitement or fast action. Roller coasters. I'm a huge Formula One fan. I'm at Monza every year. I feel the need. The need for speed. And of course, when I'm in Monza, I am at the Temple of Speed. Those who know me know that I love this one. From Jerry Maguire. Can you guess it? Show me the money. Show me the money. And this phrase means demanding proof or results, especially financially. Show me the money. 
Now we really are racing back into the past, 1950 and all about Eve. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy night. And this idiom warns that a difficult or challenging time is ahead. Fasten your seatbelts. To be quite honest, I don't use the rest of the quote. I just say fasten your seatbelts. It's kind of understood. It's going to be a bumpy night, a bumpy ride. Have you watched Jaws? Do you remember the line, you're gonna need a bigger boat? Well, this idiom means that the current resources or approach are insufficient for the challenge at hand. With this new project, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Now, which one of the movie lines would you use if I asked you, how do you feel about taking risks? Would you say, to infinity and beyond, this line captures the spirit of adventure and fearlessness, pushing beyond limits, exploring new horizons, right? To infinity and beyond. And what's your approach to problem solving? Do you say, I'll be back? Or do you say, why so serious? I'd love to know your thoughts. And how do you react to unexpected news? Houston, we have a problem. Well, this line is used to acknowledge the presence of a significant issue or obstacle. So we need immediate attention and action, right? Houston, we have a problem. I almost forgot this one. Uh, no list would be complete without it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Ah, gone with the wind. So how do you handle criticism? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And this line conveys a dismissive attitude towards criticism, suggesting that the speaker is unbothered by others' opinions. The person remains steadfast in their beliefs or actions. Hey, what motivates you to keep going? Just keep swimming, finding Nemo. And this line encourages perseverance and resilience in the face of adversity. It emphasizes the importance of maintaining forward momentum, even fa when faced with challenges or setbacks. So what motivates you to keep going? Hey, just keep swimming. And what's your strategy for success? You're going to love this one. Hakuna Matata from The Lion King. It's a Swahili phrase. And of course, it's from The Lion King, and it means no worries, no problems. Hakuna Matata. So it's a carefree and optimistic attitude towards life's challenges. Focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on the past or on future concerns. So why so serious? Hakuna Matata. And if you loved this video, please like and subscribe.